What is the purpose of the government? Imagine a time before kings, presidents, or prime ministers, before the formation of society and civilization. This is what philosophers call the state of nature. In this thought experiment, people lived freely, without rules or formal law. But what exactly does this state look like? For 17th century philosopher Thomas Hobbes, the state of nature is a war of all against all. Mankind's basic nature is fear, insecurity, death, and turmoil. Because people are selfish, the scarcity of resource leads to rootless competition, and from this constant terror, people decided to surrender some basic rights to a sovereign entity, or what he called the Leviathan. If one was, say, fed up with the theft of his portions, the state could pass laws to protect his goods or help him receive some sort of reparation. This protection is important for a number of reasons. But the most significant is that laws and their enforcements keep constant anxiety at bay. This in turn allow people to live lives free from fear of violence. For 18th century Swiss-born French philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau, the state of nature is rather different than that conceived by Hobbes. With the creation of agriculture, private property, and division of labor, however, came inequalities. Unequal access to resources created tension, enmity, and envy. People started to become aware of their limited material situation and lack of upward mobility. They became aware of their unfreedom. This led Renew to claim that man is born free and is everywhere in chains. While both philosophers describe the state of nature as a sort of beastly existence absent of any morality, they disagree on some fundamentals. Rousseau sees the Bijan model as leading to despotism, in which people have no choice but to turn to a third party to secure basic needs. Consequently, they do not have free choice of leaders. Rousseau argues that rather than choosing leaders out of fear, people choose to give up some power and rights, at least so the citizens can be equal. Whether out of fear or for the sake of equality, the consent to be ruled is called social contract. For Rousseau, people are better without government. This would require the people to follow a rule of law that they would follow on their own anyway. For Hobbes, this view would never work. After all, people's mischievousness, brutal nature, and selfishness requires a strong government to keep people in line. An appeal to people's goodness and general will would end in pandemonium. So listeners, I ask, who is right? Do people need to be kept in line, or should they be free to do as they wish?